All right. So the next question was uh, from Andy says, is there any alternative besides GMB to solidify my business existence? And yes, Andy, there is a number of things. Well, first of all, syndication networks are a great way to help validate the entity because those are all the you know common social media and web 2.0 properties that most brands have. So by setting up a branded syndication network, interlinking everything, it helps to really tell Google this is a valid business, right? However, that's not in, it, in itself, as uh, I would suggest that you also would at least submit the business details um, that you would have. Remember, even an affiliate marketing business, like affiliate businesses, guys, as an affiliate marketer, you can still have a business, right? You can still register your home address or, you know, a business address or whatever and, 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 and create, build citations and everything else. Why not? It's a business, right? It might be a virtual business, but that doesn't mean it's not an actual business, right? And so my point is, uh, citations are, are great. And one of the things that you can do is submit your details to the aggregators, the, uh, the, the, you know, business aggregators and like the big ones, um, new star local ease, axiom, factual, um, info you or express express update or express you know whatever it's info USA it's that whatever it's all the same company they're another one of them so there's I was looking to see if we had that in surf space we I think we do I just don't know where um, because it should be part of the actual uh, citation packages but another one that I've, I've used in the past was Moz local um, they have a they have a let me see if I can find it real quick they have the ability to um, they one of these things here this might be it I, it might be this one let's take a look at this one anyways the point is guys one of the uh, Moz local had a um, service where they would basically submit it looks like it's gone up maybe it's 99 per year but they would submit to all four of the major local aggregators directory aggregators for you for you know is a year they do it every year they'll update it or whatever and it only costs one one time fee uh, well you have to you know renew it every year but if you want to see what I'm talking about let's see the local ecosystem and this is what I'm talking about these right here <clears throat> so this is the local search ecosystem and if you take a look you can see that the big aggregators I know it's probably small because of the hangout guys I'll just zoom in but info group that was the one I was trying to think of info group new star local ease factual and the other one was um, axiom I'm sorry axioms right there those are the four big ones if you can actually get listed in those which again you can do it separately guys or each one but it's stupid because if you if you go to each individual like info group I believe is free axiom is free but you got to submit corporate documents like an LLC agreement uh, or bi corporate bylaws, that kind of stuff. You, um, you, like they, they require company documents to verify the, the business is in existence. So that on its own, you may not be able to do unless you have that. New Star Local Ease, it's like if you go to them, it's going to charge, they're going to charge you $30 a month to like, or, and you have to pay yearly. It's like 350 bucks a year to, to list your business there, which is dumb because you can go to Moz Local and spend a hundred bucks and they'll do it for you, right? And in Factual, I believe that's free as well. Factual is what feeds into Apple, uh, you know, so iOS and Siri and all that kind of stuff. So those are pretty much your four big ones. Um, Yext, you can do Yext, but that's kind of automated. And, I, you know, Yext has made a lot of improvements recently, but um, personally, I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of them. They Again, they may be different now. But th I just wanted to point that out. This is what I'm talking about. That right there, if you can get listed in those, you that will basically validate the entity. It's not still not as, as in my opinion, as important as getting the Google Plus. Uh, it, at least not initially. I think having the Google My Business um, listing verified is 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 the most critical. But if you can't do that, or you're in an area where they're just not verified, this would be a good way to validate the entity to Google because you see all of these feed into Google. Does that make sense? Great question, though, Andy. <clears throat> 